Hello everyone, I'm KB and I love movies. On this video, I'm going to review the things that I bought and also what I watched this month. Starting off with the things that I watched, I got a chance to see a couple of movies, including, unfortunately, Morbius. I saw that on its opening day, which was April Fool's. Yeah, that should have been all I needed to see. But uh, I was also able to check out another movie that's coming out this month, I believe, called The Outfit. Actually, it comes out tomorrow. So uh, if you want a little change of pace, I would definitely recommend checking out The Outfit. My favorite movie that I saw in theaters this month had to be Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Uh, I'm glad to see that it's getting a wider release these days, and if you have a chance, go and see it. If you want my immediate uh, reaction review, you could also check for that down in the links. In addition to that, at the end of the month, I was able to see The Northman, the new movie with Alexander Skarsgård, and that was also a great movie to check out on the big screen. It, it really demands the big screen. Talking about movies that demand a big screen, but I don't know. You have to be into the director to enjoy this one. I also checked out Ambulance. I also have a reaction review for that too. I'll also put that in the description. At home, I spent the majority of the month checking out Stallone movies. Sylvester Stallone was mid-level media's challenge for the month, and... I spent most of it checking out my Rocky series and my Rambo series and a couple of movies that I haven't seen in a while or I haven't seen at all. So for example, Bullet to the Head. I've never seen that. So that was an interesting uh, action movie, especially for later in Stallone's career. I was also able to see Copland, which I've seen but I didn't remember. Um, I'm a big Martin Scorsese fan, and the movie definitely reminded me of a Marty film. Uh, what else did I check out from Stallone? I also checked out uh, Demolition Man. Haven't seen that one in a while, and it holds up. I have to say, I enjoyed that a lot. I wasn't able to catch any of like the comedies or like Tango and Cash or anything like that. Over the top I did see, but I could have skipped that one. Uh, let's see, what else did I watch this month? I'm going through my letterbox here. If you don't have a letterbox, I highly recommend getting one. It's very helpful. Keep track of the movies that you watch. There's a little diary section. Also, you could keep uh, track of how you rated movies. So when someone's in a live stream and asks you your top five Stallone movies, you could easily just do a list and check that out and reply. Some other movies I saw at home, I checked out the Foo Fighters uh, horror comedy movie, Studio 666. That was pretty interesting. Uh, rest in peace to Taylor Hawkins. Great guy, great musician. I also checked out the two Creed movies. So include that in the Rocky franchise. As far as purchases that I was able to pick up during the month, my purchase from Kino Lorber finally came through. They had their March into April sale, and I was able to pick up three titles. This one I had to wait for. So I saw In the Heat of the Night with Sidney Portier. This is actually a really good purchase because if you purchase this, you also get the two sequels, which is They Call Me Mr. Tibbs and the Organization. I didn't even know the organization was... The third part, I thought it was two movies, not three. Included in my sales purchase, I was able to pick up Some Like It Hot. I, for a long time, I've wanted it on Criterion, and it was always the one I left behind or left off of my purchase. So that was the Blu-ray. I'm glad to be able to own it on 4K now. And I finally upgraded Spaceballs. I went to Dollar Tree 
and also big lots looking around during the month and I was able to pick up two films. I was able to catch Best Man and also Any Given Sunday and for under 10 bucks for the two of them I thought it was a good purchase. And like many of you, I was able to upgrade my copy of Robocop, the limited edition. So it comes with the book and the 4K. So just got to get rid of the Blu-ray right now. For the month of May, I'm looking forward to two challenges. I'm going to be doing Nathan Jones's ABC challenge. And incorporated in that, I'm going to do Ken's mid-level media's Hitchcock challenge. Uh, one of my favorite directors, so I don't know if I'll watch like the more popular films that everyone knows. I think I'm going to focus more on the earlier stuff that um, isn't that well known, so uh, that will be my focus. Movies like Champagne and The Farmer's Wife, and maybe I'll sneak Shadow of a Doubt in there because I do love that movie a lot. And if you never heard of these movies, uh, check out his whole filmography. Don't stick to the popular Universal and Paramount years. Uh, there are a lot of great movies besides Psycho and North by Northwest and Vertigo. So there's a lot more to Hitchcock than those popular 40, 50s movies. So go before and go after. One of the biggest uh, releases coming out this month is the Alfred Hitchcock Collection Volume 2 on 4K. And that has some of his later work, including Shadow of a Doubt. So I would recommend checking that out if you want to see the latter half of Hitchcock's filmography. There's a lot of uh, good movies in that set. So that's it. Until next time, uh, you can follow me on Instagram. I have an, an account there. And that's where I post more of my daily watches and stories and stuff like that. But uh, until the next video, I'll check you out. I'm just going to go watch a movie.